Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Today we thought we would start a series on uh, meeting the different product managers here at IQS. Now I always knew Andy as the guy that took care of all the plants and was the keeper of the coffee machine. So Jay, here's your coffee. Right on cue, Andy. Hey, um, I thought we would meet you. So can okay. you tell us about your time here at Zeiss? Ah, yeah, I started uh, 24 years ago. I started in the application department, so as an application engineer. And I learned uh, all the things uh, regarding software. So I was uh, a part of uh, Calypso software from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then 11 years later on, I moved to the product management. Mm -hmm. So, and then they gave me the uh, Acura number two. Um, a few years afterwards, they gave me the Conjurer. And uh, the, my last machine for my responsibility was the Spectrum. So from the beginning, from uh, let's say start of measurements, uh, Spectrum, Contura and Acura. Wow, wow. So you have a, a good chunk of the, uh, the bridge portfolio now. Yes. Can you take us through some of the decision making processes that you have? Uh... For sure. Yeah? Yeah, we can go upstairs directly beside a Contura and I can show you the new things. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So now we are standing in front of the Contura. Yeah, your baby. One of your babies. Yes, <laughs> one, of my, one of my babies. And uh, we have already uh, talked about the benefits of the new Contura. And um, one of those benefits is the mass system, uh, the mass technology. Uh, so we have uh, asked the customers and we thought, yeah, let's do it also here on a Contura. Mm -hmm. Uh, to uh, introduce also the mass system for perfect exchange between different kind of sensors. Because before on a Contura, you had to choose between... Yeah, uh, either a fixed system or an indexing system. So the customer has to select before. Sure. And, um, and they're locked into it. Locked, absolutely, yes. Now so they are absolutely open because perfect. this mass system mm -hmm. Uh, helps the customer to um, integrate some mm -hmm. sensors afterwards. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, and then we, we thought, okay, uh, let's copy the technology from a Prismo mm -hmm. to this lovely machine, and that's it is now. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So you stole Alessandro's uh, technology. Yes. Before we start, let's bring in Alessandro, who is the product manager for the Xenos. Yeah, hello, Jay. Hi, Alessandro, how nice are you? Nice to see you, fine, okay. thanks. Great. We were just talking about what a micron is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he's happy about it. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, also, absolutely new to a Contura is this rotary table. Mm -hmm. So again, we have asked a lot of customers and um, compared to an O-Inspect, where they have also a rotary table in a horizontal way, we wanted to copy this also as a, a benefit for the customer when he has, for instance, an O-Inspect, and the Contura beside. So you stole our idea. Yeah, unfortunately. Of doing <laughs> but not only, not only the rotary table, yeah. some other things I come later on to okay, this point. Okay. Yeah. So in this, the rotary table, uh, the highlight is to have it in a horizontal way. Not only in a vertical way, mm -hmm. also in a horizontal way. Cool. And then it's perfect for us to uh, measure, for example, these uh, blades or blisks. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. else? Uh, what else? What, what other things do you, uh, 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 do, you do as a <laughs> product manager? Okay, as I, as I told yeah. you, we borrowed again something from the O-Inspect. Yeah. So when you, when you sit in front, maybe you can take okay. a seat here. Here, okay. When you sit in front of the machine, maybe this, this part here is well known because we borrowed it from the O-Inspect. Huh? Oh. And it's the, the same... Mm -hmm procedure, sure. how you move your panel to left and right side, yes, exactly. You, did, you stole this exactly from us, didn't you? Exactly, <laughs> yes. But it's not only the panel holder, yeah. we have also this front side protection, yep. and to feel comfortable in front of the machine. So sure. we, we, again, we listen to the customer, mm -hmm. and uh, they need some space for their feet. Sure, So sure. it's perfect for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, 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 again, you know, it seems like, to me, no thought was, uh, uh, was given to this, but what I'm hearing is part of your job is to actually overthink and make sure this is comfortable for anyone who sits here 
yes. for a yeah. living? As a product manager, we have to listen to the customer. Yeah. We have to talk to different uh, divisions in our company. We have to talk to the development. We have to talk to the salespeople. So it's a, let's say it's a network. Yep, uh, yep. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. What else? What else? So um, com in combination with this economic part, mm -hmm. we have also thought about the controller box, where to put the controller box. Today, it's a question of footprint. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to have a box standing beside your machine. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have all the controllers equipped with controller boxes at the back side because we thought it's the, it's the best position sure. uh, because of reducing the footprint. Got it, got it. So you yeah. heard that customers need smaller and smaller, smaller footprints. So yes, yes. Nice compact And design. when we talk about footprints, the last hint or the last benefit mm -hmm. uh, or the next benefit is mm -hmm. um, that we have now uh, absolutely new probe changing device. Mm -hmm. It's called Promax E and this Promax E helps the customer to widen up his measuring range before he buys the next bigger size of mm -hmm. machine. So mm -hmm. if he always, if he has a question of uh, footprint, yep. he can invest into a Promax E and he opens up his measuring range because the Promax E is always placed outside of the sure. measuring range. Sure. And then it moves inside doing the probe change mm -hmm. and moves out again. So it, uh, uh, it maximizes your uh, usable measuring volume without actually adding physical Perfect, space yes. to it. That's awesome. Exactly. So that's uh, uh, some of the thought that you guys, uh, uh, that product managers uh, put together. Thanks for uh, uh, taking us some of the th decisions you have to make on a daily basis. We have one last thing for you. We're okay. introducing a, uh, we want to introduce a new game. So if you're ready, we're going to try it on you. Okay, yeah, let's try. All right. Welcome to the Measuring Hero Quiz. I'm gonna quick explain to you what we're doing here. Uh, I'm going to ask our guest two questions. The first one will relate to either something you'd know in metrology or something you would have learned uh, watching these vlogs. Uh, then I'll ask a second question, which is around something you would learn about life in Germany. And then I will uh, turn it over to our guest and uh, uh, let them ask me a question and try to stump me. Uh, so, Andy, thanks for being our very first contestant. Yes. Okay, are you ready? I hope so, yes. Okay, question number one. Okay. How many microns are in a human hair? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, so, it's roughly between 40 and 80 microns. It depends on the color of the hair. Okay, but what if it was my hair? Your hair? Yeah. It's very dark, so I would say it's more towards the 80, 80, 90 microns. Okay, uh, I've always heard it was 100 microns. It's a rough guesstimation. I'm actually gonna take your word for it, but yeah, 80, 100 microns, correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, good start. Second question. When you are at a traffic crosswalk light, and the person is red, but there's no one in sight, do you either A, cross, what's the harm, or B, wait patiently for the green guy? Uh, there's no question, definitely wait until it's green for, <laughs> for myself. Uh, well, that is definitely something I've learned living in Germany because as a, an American, we just go, but yes. The ant, you are correct. Okay. We always wait for two for two. Good job, Andy. Now, so, now it's my turn. Your turn to stump me. Okay, we talked about Contura. Okay. So I have a question for you. Oh boy, please, okay. Please guess, how many machines we have already sold as Contura? Okay, so you want me to guess. In the world? Or, or how many machines are already located at customer? How many customer machines are there in the world? Contouras? Yes. I'm going to guess 7,000. Nah, no way. No. More? Yeah, definitely. It's more than double. Yeah? So we, we reached the limit of uh, 15,000 already, and it's going on and it's going on. So as of now, more than 15,000. Yes. That's crazy. Congratulations. Andy, 
thanks for being our guest today. Thanks for being our guinea pig for the Measuring <laughs> Hero quiz. And of course, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And for you, please continue to stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next Thursday.